When you're given uh, an algebraic expression uh, in one of these forms and you want to write what it represents in words, there are many ways to do this, uh, but let's start with the really straightforward approach, uh, which is to literally say what you see. So in this case, we have 5 times x plus 1, or you could say 5 times a number plus 1. Here, you would say 5 times the sum of some number and 1. Here you could say um, 7 more than 3 times a number or 3 times a number plus 7. So 7 more than 3 times a number. So, and then applying that logic here, we could say 1 more than 5 times a number. But I want to revisit, revisit this one real quick and um, just reset the problem and simplify it so it's a little bit easier to think about. And this is pretty typical. If you get a number and then parentheses and a bunch of junk inside, you want to rewrite it using the distributive property. So we have 5 times x plus 1. So the distributive property says, OK, in this case, I'm multiplying this stuff by this stuff. So I have two options. If I knew what x was, I could add it to 1 and then multiply by 5. Let's pretend x is 2. So it could be like 5 times 2 plus 1. So I could do 2 plus 1 and get 3, and then multiply that by 5 to get 15. Or the distributive property says you could do 5 times 2 plus 5 times 1. And you would get 5 times 2 plus 5 times 1, which is 10 plus 5, which is also 15. So when you're multiplying with addition or subtraction, not division, you can distribute one of the numbers by multiplying across the other parts. So let's do that here, and we'll see a much simpler uh, algebraic expression that we can talk about. So we have 5 times x, which is 5x, plus 5 times 1, which is 5. And this goes back to the other examples. You could say here 5 more than 5 times a number. And then building on this and looking at some other examples, um, again, here we had 1 more than 5 times a number. What we could look at is stuff like this, 3x minus 10. This would be 10 less than three times a number. Or you might see something like this, three times x minus two. So instead of trying to write this out, I mean, I would distribute this three before I start by doing three times x, which is three x, and three times two, which is six. But again, we have a minus sign here. So it's three times x minus three times two. And we get this. Now this would be in, I guess, words, 6 less than 3 times a number. And um, to look at some context to this problem, because they might ask you to write it in, in other ways, if you have 3x minus 10 and you had to tell some kind of story that represents what this is talking about, um, we can make up a scenario. For example, x could be the number of hours you're working. And 3 could equal the amount you're paid for each hour. So for example, if you worked 2 hours, you would get 2 times 3, or $6, which is the multiplication statement right here. But minus 10, well, let's say your job is to paint a house. Um, well, before you start getting paid, it might be that you have to pay for paint. And perhaps you found a very cheap paint store, and the, the negative 10, the, or the minus 10, equals what you lose when you pay for paint. Oops, paint. And also I misspelled this. Sorry. Lose what you pay for paint. So, for example, let's say you work 10 hours. Well, you get 3 times 10 minus the $10 you already paid for paint. So you would really make 30 minus 10 
or twenty dollars. So these problems do have context. Um, if it was a plus ten, perhaps you get a tip. So it's three times ten hours plus ten dollars for a tip you made for painting the house.